Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatu's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add RSS feed to Wix website. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we add our RSS feed into our Wix website? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to access your website editor for Wix. So in this case, go to Wix.com, log in into your account, and open up the editor for your website. Now from here, let's go and add a section here. Let's go and click on add section here and click on black section so that we'll have some space where we want to add our RSS feed. In this case, let's go and go back uh, to a specific website here, which is going to be offsite.com. Now in this case, make sure to create your account or log in into your account. But once you've done that, we are now ready to start adding our widget. Now in this case, let's go and click on widgets here click on it and from here just type in the following which is going to be rss now in this case you should be able to see the rs rss feed option here let's go and click on it and from here we want to start editing our feed now in this case you could choose whatever format you have here there are going to be different designs to choose from so for this example we'll be using this specific formatting here but if you want to choose the, the other ones here you could go ahead and do that but for now we'll be using this one so in this case let's go and click on continue with this template and from here, we need to add our source for our RSS feed. So in this case, I'll be pasting this link here. And from here, we can even add filters if you want to. So if you want to add specific keywords, specific posts, and dates, you can go ahead and do that. But for now, we'll be uh, sticking with this uh, default here. Now from here, you could also uh, change the layout if you want to, even the post itself, if you want to customize that. The appearance itself, if you want to change the color for it uh, as well. But in this case, we are good for now. Let's go ahead and click on Add to Website for free here to make our changes. And it should redirect you to the actual editor here. Again, make sure to uh, have that the details here are actually correct. And also make sure that your changes are actually reflecting here. But once you've done that, what we need to do is we need to start publishing our uh, feed here. Now, in this case, whenever you click on the publish button here, it should redirect you to this page here, which in this case is going to ask you to choose a plan that you want to use for your outside uh, widget here. In this case, you can use the free one here, which is the current plan that I'm using right now. So in this case, let's go and exit this one. And uh, in this case, it should redirect you to the next page, where in this case, you should be able to see this pop up here. Now, by the way, if you can't see this uh, pop up here, you just go to your My App section and go to the Install button here, and you should be able to see the copy code option. In this case, let's go and go back into our Wix website. And from here, let's go and click on Add Elements option. Go to Embed Code. Go to Embed HTML. And from here, we need to choose, uh, paste our code. Now, in this case, once you've done that, it should uh, reflect it in here. So if you see this option or if you see this error here, I would recommend you to uh, basically uh, change it. So in this case, make sure you remove that and repaste it again. Click on Update. And uh, it should actually fix itself. In this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to resize our widget here to show the changes. So in this case, you can go ahead and do that. So for now, we're going to stick with three, this one, uh, in three uh, format here. But in this case, uh, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.